Hello everyone and welcome here to the um Okay, so how should I put this? I guess this will be kind of the season one, but um if you guys read the video with um read what I said in the video about the sign up video that this will kind of season one be quick that we will count. And like I said, I'm only going to big it place. So it's not a force no point. So if you win this race, it will go down into the NROPL boost as a win, as a Daytona 500 win. Um, and we'll be doing the like the Coca-Cola 600, the Coke Zero 400, Brickyard 400, um, Darlington. Then we'll do Homestead, and any driver that wins the Homestead race will be crowned champion. I'm doing all of this just so we can like give drivers some history. So when the NROPL official returns with the update mod, then you know. I was going to have some history behind them. So, we are here at Daytona with the 2003 mod. Um, we're going to go down to our pole sitter, Nick Smith. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's a weird camera. Never seen that before. I mean, I guess that'll work, but okay. So, on the pole is Nick Smith and then number 17, Dewalt Ford. We have Jonathan Skull right beside him, a pair of um, Fords up front here, Fords on the first two rows. And we have Sacco in the 21, um, Alexander Rowe in the 2, Henry Williams in the 18, Zayden or Zane Abdullah in the 30, Tony Green in the 32, Raymond Fisher in the 9, Malik Evans in the 24, Tim Randolph in the um, 99, uh, Bowers in the 31, Brock, William Brock that is right there in the 20, we have Audrey Baranaskis, Riley Spurley Tube, Philip Parker in the 97, Simon Austin in the 48, Eric Monaco in the 4, um, Tyler in the 23, up Yeah, Tyler Markell in the 20, in the 8, Zachary Fitzwater Sen or, yeah, Senior in the 29. We have Andy Fell, followed by Zayden Davidson in the 6. We have his teammate with Kinghart. We have Roberts, uh, Strickland, Davis, James Bowles, Max Anderson. Bobby Stringle, I believe that is, Lewis, and Eli Bright. Little engine chain has to start the rear. Or engine chain. So, without further ado, let's um, get you down to the commands here at Daytona for the Daytona 500. Engines have been fired at Daytona as we watch as these drivers pull off here for 20 laps of racing. Every single driver out there right now wants to win this race. It's one of the most important races you have to win in your career. And this here in Daytona. So with these races that I'm doing, we're basically just going back in time to before the NROPL actually started. So. This will be counted as the official season one races and stuff. Sorry if it's a bit confusing, but so yeah, when um an RPL official season or I start this year, next year. Um, still not using my laptop. This is um someone else's laptop. That's why I did the vlog. So I want to start and then I'll move. So I just wanted to make sure um, I'll be able to do a full season without interruptions. So, got Fords on the front row here. We have a Dodge, another Ford, got two Chevys landed behind them, um, a Pontiac, and another Dodge right there, as you can see. As the pace car is getting ready to pull off the road, Nick Smith, Jonathan Skull on the front row. There goes the pace car. The pace car is in. The crowd's going wild. Green flag is out at Daytona. And already down to the inside. Right there, these guys are already free wide bump. Oh, 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 yeah. 
Oh, and there was a problem. Oh, there's caution. The caution's out already. And Strickland was involved. 45 of Roberts was also involved. As these guys, without the experience, this is their first official race here. The caution is fit as that one is. Oh, three fight at the line. That's down here. So these guys with the inexperience, this is their first ever to come up. So early caution is to be expected and us to go on these guys should have experience here. So caution is not on half on and let's go take a look at what happened. So here's a look at what happened to bring out our first caution on lap one. You see the 29 right there. It's uh, Zachary Fitzwater the senior was pushing on the 23. I think the 23 got loose, went up and came right back across the nose of the 29, and that just caused a wreck right there. Dayton Davidson also get involved to see the 45 with damage also. He got up into the wall right there. And uh, tough luck for these guys. They barely came out of the second turn of the track, and their day's pretty much done already. He's going to look at it from another angle. He had a 23 came up, then a 29 was just trying to follow in the draft and just hooked him right there. 45 goes hard into the wall. The 23 and the 38 both go rear into the wall first. 38, just an innocent bystander right there with heavy, heavy rear end damage. Let's get, a right, uh, let's get an onboard view. And this is the helmet cam of the 38. Let's ride along with him. Yeah, he just didn't know what to expect. He's got two right um, green flag here at day top. So as we get ready to go back to the uh, before the whole one at um, of Springle was in the pit stop before the bomb they pulled off the road. Um, they had blue slug nut just back out the finish. Springle Williams is the leader. Green flag. Everyone trying to get around the whole one right there. It's him as it. Malik Nevins gets stuck on the outside of the dry. Because they're using the 01 to their advantage right there, trying to draft up and catch that team. This is the 31 pushing. Here comes Philip Parker in the 97. 01 nearly cut him off right there. Is it going to go four wide? Oh, that's not going to work. Careful. Malik Nevins is going to that. So, they made a little contact. Will they make it work? Yes, they will. Great driving by these guys right here. They're going to make four wide work. As here comes our new leader, 97. Philip Parker to the lead. We're still on the green here. Oh, and there they go. Around goes the 18 and other drivers. The 10 is around. Big wreck here at Daytona. The 20 cars involved right there. As another wreck unfolds coming out of turn two, it goes hit to Williams, who is the leader not to. Yeah. It's Philip Parker in the 97s to the lead. Here comes I don't think he's going to make it in time. And as question is. So the 97 will be scored next. So looking back here, i um, not sure what happened. I believe that, oh yeah, the 18 was turned by the 21, I believe. Yeah, the 21 was just pushing on that um, left rear right there and that just caused the 18 to go down into the 10. See the 25, Baranaskis getting to um, him right there. The 20 also with damage. See the 20, he goes back up on the track and there's some drivers right there. A lot of guys were able to avoid and then right there, another more, even more damage on the 10 right there of um, Andy Fell. This, his day is gonna be done here. Get another look at it right here. Yeah, you, these guys cannot be pushing on the left rear right there. That's gonna 
track. The um, guy that he's pushing, the 12, did a great job of avoiding right there. The 7 also getting damaged. Look at the 22. Great wreck avoidance by him. I believe the 29 also got through there. Tough luck for a lot of these drivers. So that was your second caution of the day. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's get you back to the restart. So it was reproach halfway, past halfway. The time is coming to go down to a pivot due to a vibration in his car. There he is, he'll start in the rear. Philip Parker, Tyler Markell, and number eight Chevrolet will lead the field of green. Hopefully we can get some green flag laps in here. We have nine laps to go. Tyler Markell, head of the field. Eric Monaco, Sacco's right there. Also, Zayn Abuka, there's Evans, Skull, and Bowers, and Owens. I think it's... As the onboard view is kind of weird, I don't know. Really weird. As the eight car way out front. But these guys are trying to pass up to just a 34 second. Abdullah trying to get the um, Here goes Malik Nevins down to the inside with help from 31. Spores right there also got um 48 you see the 88 cut down to the side lane right there. As we continue green, Chevy one, two, three, four, five. As the board now of the um, uh, skull, it gets back to the front. The other guys who we haven't seen up front yet Alexander Rowe, Wayne Fisher, is also coming up here. Spurgeon, 12, um, Davis right there. As the guys on the outside line fall back. We're leading this race still to come to the top. Had a great restart having lost the lead stint. Here comes the 88 with the 01. I believe the 01 is a lap down. As he is, he scored three laps down. 28th position has a 10, the 20 and 45 all out of place. So three drivers retired out of the race so far. As Tyler Markell continues to be trying to go, trying doesn't have to also 22 Davis. You got James Bowles, who hasn't been up for front at least. Those guys go three right right there. The 30 and now gonna try to leave James. They're all still chasing down Tyler Markell with six laps to go. At the line, it'll be five laps to go as here comes 22 with big help. So it looks like he's trying to make it three wide, two wide actually. That's just helping the eight car stay deep. Audrey Baranowska saved it to Jaden Davis. Guys with damage, also Strickland and um, Tyler right there also have damage. So these guys are caught up in wreck. There's a 97. Yeah, not. That was some serious vibration he must have had right there. These guys getting a bit more aggressive as they come forward near and Adam Markell with a big lead. His teammate right behind him, James Bowles. Got another Chevy. Eli Bright in the five who started dead last. Makes his way to the second position. As the next caution will end the race, you can see the 12 and the 22 right there between each other. And Eli Bright's teammate Malik Evans now trying to get second place from him. It's Tyler Markell doing a great job of holding the guys off. But these guys go past catch them from the end. 
Malik Evans in second. Moving first. Top. Three left to go. Two Chevys. Got a two, also two Pontiacs right there in the top five right there. The 29 is going to fall back on the outside time. It's now Evans. Kyle Markell, one and two, put the feed. Markell has, or um, Nevins has the draft. We have to try to make moves, but try not to keep too soon. Or we'll try to do it. these guys come and see Tony. He's also right there. The outside lane, his lane is not falling back. At the line, two left to go at Daytona. Who is it gonna be? 32 trying to make a move on the 24. Can't get there, does not have to run. 88 now gets four to the outside line. He's going to come back his down right there. 24 is going to have to try and do something here. Right there, he just doesn't have the buns. Trying to stay in line. The 32. Tony Green, can he try and do something here? Here comes the 24 for Lee Evans. They waited till the last lap. White flag is out at Daytona. Nevins to the lead, looking to win at Daytona 500. Here comes Tony Green in the 32. We can't count out the five. He's also right there. Eli Bright in the number five. Raymond Fisher is also right there. It's here comes the five. Tony Green to the lead. Not going to be able to do it right now as they are side by side, neck and neck for the Daytona 500. Eli Bright looks like he's going to edge out first. Started dead last in this race. Ramey Fisher to his inside. Checkered flag is in the air. Eli Bright at the line. Wow. What a race that was. Eli Bright starting dead last. Ends up first place here and will be the seat for one. And for OPL, they by inches. Three one thousandths of a second over rank. Man, that was some great driving by these guys right there. Great job in this race. These guys are all good. As Eli Bright and I will get Daytona 500 feet. Great job right there by Eli Bright. Started this Um, After final practice yesterday, went to an engine change. Didn't want to go to a back of the car. Now he's up to the winner here. Let's get you down to your full races up. Eli scores the pin. And look how close that finish was. Raymond Fisher ends up second. Tony Green third. Evan Smith. Um, Lower is sixth. Zayn Abdullah seventh. Markel eighth. He, um, after leading most laps here, he ends up in that eighth position. Davis ninth. And Eric Monaco rounds out to top ten. Alexander Road just out to top ten. Man, that was a really good finish as uh, we get you to the rest of the race results here. 31 car started a race, three retired, one car was three laps down. That's the 01. He finishes 28th. And um, 18 cars was within less than a second. So, Eli Bright is the first ever NROPL Daytona 500 champion. Let's get you down to victory lane and then the burnout. Well, actually, let's take a look at it, um, finish one more time. So here it is at the line. Eli Bright just edging out Ramian Fisher here to become the first ever Daytona 500 winner in the NROPL officially. And like I said, this does, does count as a win. Look at that. All these guys within seconds of each other, less than a second of each other. As you're gonna, you're gonna see him 
Anyone else crossing the line? Look at that, the 32, the 17, the 24, and the 31. And look at this, three wide here at the line. Not sure, not even sure what position that is, but and then another three wide here. And man. So that's Daytona 500. Let's get you down to Victorine and then a burnout by Eli Bright. Thank <laughs> you. 